Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the new seven wonders of the world. These are some of the most mind-blowing feats of human creativity and architectural brilliance. But as always, we're adding a twist. We'll uncover some wild facts, bust a few myths, and by the end, you might even question if these really deserve the title of wonders. Ready? Great Wall of China. The world's longest PR stunt. Now, you probably think of this as the ultimate defense system, right? Actually, it's more like a 13,000-mile-long PR stunt. Sure, it looks impressive, but despite its massive length, it didn't do the best job of keeping invaders out. The Mongols still got through. So what was the point? Scholars now say the wall was more about sending a message. Look how powerful we are. I mean... Who's going to question your empire when you've got a wall so big it looks like it was designed by someone with serious commitment issues? Quick question for you. Would you feel safer behind 13,000 miles of wall or just by a good security system? Let me know in the comments. Chichen Itza, Mayan Madness, home to the ancient Mayan version of a doomsday clock, El Castillo. With 365 steps, it's like a giant calendar that tracks the year. But what really makes it crazy is during the equinox, shadows make it look like a serpent is slithering down the pyramid. And if you thought the Mayans were just into science and astronomy, think again. They also had their very own deathmatch sport. Picture a game that's part soccer, part basketball, with one little catch. The losers might be sacrificed. Yup, no, good game, bro, after that. Moving on to Machu Picchu. You've heard this called the Lost City of the Incas. But here's the thing, it was never really lost. Locals always knew about it. It's more like the city tourists didn't know about until 1911. When Hiram Bingham stumbled upon it, he thought he'd found a hidden stronghold of the Incas. Wrong again. Turns out it's more like an Incan vacation home. Imagine someone discovering your Airbnb and thinking it's an ancient palace. Fun challenge for you. Guess what Machu Picchu was really used for? Royal retreat, pilgrimage site, or religious convent? Drop your guesses below. Christ the Redeemer in Rio is probably the most zen-looking statue in the world. But here's the wild part. It's also one of the most frequently struck by lightning. That's right, the statue is basically a giant lightning rod, and it's lost pieces to storms several times. In 2014, a bolt actually took off part of Jesus' right thumb. But hey, even with a damaged thumb, Christ the Redeemer is still 98 feet tall, weighs 635 metric tons, and manages to keep its cool. Now that's divine patience. Ah, the Colosseum, Rome's version of a Game of Thrones arena. If you think sports today are intense, this place had gladiators, wild animals, and even naval battles. Yeah, they would flood the Colosseum for mock sea battles. Can you imagine attending a football game where the stadium suddenly fills with water for a halftime show? That's the kind of extra we're talking about. But here's something most people get wrong. The Colosseum wasn't as much about Christians being thrown to lions as it was about Rome flexing its power. It was entertainment for the masses, 50,000 people watching to see who or what would survive. By the way, what would you rather see? Gladiators? Lions or naval battles? Let me know which one sounds the craziest. Next, let's talk about Petra, the city that somehow vanished from the map, twice. Petra is tucked away in a remote valley in Jordan, surrounded by towering sandstone cliffs. It's like Mother Nature wanted to hide this city and said, let's make it impossible to find. Legend has it, this is where Moses struck a rock and made water flow. So, I guess even miracles need good plumbing. But it was the Nabataeans, an ancient Arab tribe, who really made Petra thrive. These guys were master carvers. They chiseled temples and tombs into the rose-colored sandstone, which changes color with the sun. It's like Petra got an Instagram filter before Instagram was a thing. At its peak, Petra was an important trade hub, especially for spices. Imagine being the Amazon of the ancient world, but with camels instead of prime shipping. But just as quickly as Petra flourished, it started to fade. After a massive earthquake in 363 CE and another in 551, the city was gradually abandoned. Trade routes shifted, 
and Petra basically turned into ancient history's version of a ghost town. Now, here's the kicker. Even after it was rediscovered in 1912, archaeologists largely ignored Petra for most of the 20th century. Like, oh cool, an entire city carved into a mountain. We'll get back to that. Eventually. But there are still a ton of questions about the place. How did they manage those incredible water systems in the desert? And why did the Nabataeans choose to build here? Speaking of mysteries, if you could visit any ancient site and solve one historical mystery, where would you go? Let me know in the comments below. Finally, the Taj Mahal, the world's fanciest love letter. Built by Shah Jahan for his wife Mumtaz, it's the ultimate example of going all out for someone you love. Forget flowers or chocolates, this guy built an entire white marble mausoleum inlaid with precious stones. Here's a fun fact. Shah Jahan wanted to build himself a matching black Taj Mahal, but his son was like, nope, and deposed him. Talk about family drama. Can you imagine being grounded by your kid for wanting to build a monument? So what's the most extravagant thing you've ever done for someone you love? Let me know, though I'm guessing it wasn't a marble palace. So there you have it, the new seven wonders of the world, each one more mind-boggling than the last. But here's the thing, maybe what makes them wonders isn't just their size, their beauty, or their complexity, it's that each one has a story behind it, a story that speaks to what humans are capable of, whether that's building a 13,000-mile wall, making a calendar pyramid, or constructing the world's fanciest tomb. But at the end of the day, it's us, the people, who voted these in as wonders. So maybe that's the true wonder, that we still love to be amazed by what humans have achieved, even when it's a bit flawed, a little crazy, or downright impractical. If you enjoyed this dive into the weird and wonderful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more history with a twist. See you in the next video.